Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In the last video, we looked at the jQuery click uh, event handler. However, in this tutorial, we're going to look at the double click event handler. Now, this is going to be triggered when an element is clicked twice with the mouse, as you would normally double click um, on, for example, an icon on your desktop. Now, the reason I am talking about double click is if you were to create a uh, jQuery uh, website that had, for example, icons that you might want to double click on, for example, a simulation of a desktop environment or something, you might want to use the double click functionality. You might also want to create, say, an image and say double click on the image to edit it um, or open it up or uh, retrieve some more information. There's a, a variety of applications this can have However, I'm going to be demonstrating it in this tutorial with a link. So the first thing we're going to do is, well, we'll look at the uh, script we've included first of all. And we've included obviously jQuery, and then we've included this click.js file as well. And this is here, and it currently has nothing in it. So let's go ahead and create a link. Um, I'm going to call this menu. And uh, the href is going to be hash and the ID is going to be menu. So essentially what I want to happen is when the user double clicks on this uh, link, I want a div to appear with some more menu options. So let's go ahead and create a div. And I'm gonna give this an ID of, um, let's just say menu link for this one. I've changed the name to menu underscore link and the ID here is going to be menu. So inside of here, what we can do is create a few more options and obviously this can be tiered so if the user was to for example click on the menu double click on the menu they might have then a list of uh, other options that they can also double click on and you can add all these event handlers to click.js so uh, this is going to be um, for example programs and settings and log off. So we have all of these uh, menu options inside a div. Now I'm going to again use inline styling, which I don't recommend, but I uh, don't really have the time to go ahead and create a style sheet. So I'm going to uh, give this style of display none. So this menu will be uh, hidden basically. Okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, style this a bit better going to use breaks uh, after each um, link and now this should display uh, just the menu link on the page so now we have the menu link when we click it obviously nothing happens uh, we're going to have jQuery handle this for us so we've got the click.js file included so now what we can do is uh, use this to reference the double click of the menu link and then to display this menu so let's go over to click.js and start writing the jQuery code so we're going to use a dollar, uh, a dollar sign and inside of some brackets, the menu link element. We're then going to say, instead of dot .click, we're going to say dot .dbl click. And then in brackets, again, we need to include a function that allows us to run a block of code based on this event. So function, we create our block and a function as we usually would define it. But we bring this down so we can start writing our code in here. So now once this uh, menu link has been double clicked, we want to display the rest of this menu. So the div is called menu, so we can reference that with hash menu. So we use our dollar sign and inside hash menu dot show. Or we could uh, use another uh, animation effect, but we're gonna be looking at them a bit later on in the series. So essentially now when we double click on this link, the menu should show. So let's go ahead to our browser and refresh. When I click on it, nothing happens. If I double click on it, you can see that the uh, menu has been displayed, okay? So hopefully now you can start to see the functionality behind this and why you might have to use it or might, may want to use it in a more, um, I guess, operating system like um, web application. Because jQuery is really powerful in this way, you could essentially create something that was a bit more um, 
you know app had a more application feel to it rather than a web page so the double click function can be extremely useful when you want to show uh, this kind of functionality